Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Sayyid Ali Mardan Azmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can evaluate area of agreement region with the help of double integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.3, question number 4 from Thomas Calipers 12th edition book. The statement of problem is sketch the region bounded by the given line and curves, then express the region area as an iterated double integral and evaluate the integral. The curves are the curves given in question are the parabola x is equal to y minus y square and the line y, y is equal to minus x. Uh, please note that the formula for area with the help of double integral is double integral over the region R dA, where dA is the small patch of the given region. Next, in order to plot the curves, we must know how these curves can be plotted or how these curves can be evaluated over the xy plane. Now, the parabola x is equal to y minus y square is open leftward and is symmetric about x-axis. How we can know it? Please note that in this equation of parabola, the coefficient of y square is negative. This negative sign indicates that the parabola is open leftward and the power of x is 1. This indicates that the parabola is symmetric about x-axis. So, these two things will give you the direction of parabola. The line y is equal to minus x is a general line which passes the point 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 2. These points can be calculated by substituting different values in the line as x equal to 0, x equal to 1, x equal to 2. And you will get corresponding values as 0, minus 1, and minus 2. In the next step, we will plot it. So this blue curve will represent the parabola x is equal to y minus y square in the xy plane. Please note that I have marked x-axis and y-axis with dotted lines because x-axis and y-axis are not involved in my boundaries. So after this, I have sketched the line y is equal to minus x, which passes the point 0, 0. You can see when x equal to minus 1, y is 1. When x equal to minus 2, y is 2. So after joining this point, I have extended the lines. So this portion, which is bounded between the parabola and straight line, is our required region of integration. In the next step, we will evaluate the coordinates of this point, which is the point of intersection of parabola and straight line. For this purpose, we will solve the equation simultaneously. Equation of parabola and equation of straight line. For simultaneous solution, we'll substitute the value of x from equation number one in equation number two. We have y is equal to minus into y minus y square, converting into standard form, and then we can have y square minus 2y equal to 0, taking y common. We have y into y minus 2 equal to 0. When product of two terms is equal to 0, either first equal to 0 or second equal to 0. So from this concept, we have y equal to 2 and y equal to 0. Now we can use these values in equation number 1. We can get the value of x as x equal to minus 2 and x equal to 0. So our points of intersection are 0, 0 and minus 2, 2. You can see also see from the figure when x equal to minus 2, y is equal to is our point of intersection. But for the purpose of accuracy, we have simultaneously solved it. So after this, we have calculated the point of intersections and we know the equation of all the boundaries. So in the next step, we can in the next step, we can evaluate the area. The formula for area have two choices. Either x is your inner variable or y is your inner variable. In this portion, I have selected x as our inner variable because if, it, if I choose y as our inner variable, then on the left of the origin, I will have different limits. And on the right of the origin, I have different limits. But if I take x as my inner variable, I don't have such issues. So you, you can see. In order to calculate the limits of x, I have passed a horizontal arrow. 
through my region of integration, this arrows enters to the boundary y equal to minus x and exit the boundary x is equal to y minus y square. So the limits of x are minus y2, y minus y square. And for outer variable, we always calculate range of that particular axis for this region. For y, our region start from origin and ends at 2. So the limits of y are 0 to 2. In the next step, we will solve this integral. Integration of dx is x for the limits minus y to y minus y square. Applying fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit, we have 2y minus y square. In the next step, we will perform the integration. Integration of y is y square over 2. And the integration of minus y square is y cube over 3. 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. And in the next step, we have applied limits, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we have replaced y with 2. Minus is a formula. And for lower limit, we have replaced y with 0. So after simplification, we get 4 over 3 as area of this given region. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and recommend to your peers.